What she feared most wasn't the words. What she couldn't manage were the spaces between the words. The silence. Welcome back to Quarantine Apologetics, Defending the Faith While Under Lockdown. You probably know that I got the new computer recently. That's why I'm not filming on the iPhone anymore. Oh, man, that's awesome. Um, so, um, as you may know, I like Apple products. I got an Apple computer, iPhone. So, since I bought a computer, uh, my, uh, uh, I got a free one-year subscription with Apple TV+. Plus. Now, Apple TV+, Plus is like the equivalent of Netflix or Amazon Prime. So, um, there is... Um, uh, I go search it for it. And uh, the movie they're promoting, the Apple original movie, is called Hala, spelled H-A-L-A. And it's about a Pakistani Muslim girl who lives in America, and her parents are very Pakistani, and she's... She's being raised in a non-Pakistani, non-Muslim country. She wears a hijab. And she goes to a public school surrounded by a bunch of non-Muslims. All her friends are non-Muslims, non-Pakistani. And so she's kind of caught in a world, you know. And what's interesting is when she speaks to the parents, she speaks in English, but they speak to her in Urdu. So, like, it, especially the mom. So, like, they're just... in engulfed in the culture and I don't think she has any problems with being Muslim but she has problems being Pakistani in a country that's not Pakistan and the the, the reason I decided to talk about this is because a part of my life that I don't talk about much online is I love film I love film doing movie reviews and there's something interesting about this movie it, it's um and it has something to do with faith. I mean, in Canada, there is a Catholic culture in Canada. There is an English-speaking America. But uh, there is in many other countries. However, why Why would someone... Okay, let's say a, a Catholic couple from, say, Poland or something move to a Muslim country like Turkey. You can do that, but don't expect the, the child to be that Catholic. You might might not convert to Islam, but um, don't expect uh, Catholic grandparents. I mean, if you want to pass your faith on, you don't go it's like, oh, I want to live in a nice first world country and have all the benefits of my old country. No, no, you can't do that. You can't um, have your cake and eat it too. But like, obviously, those parents in the movie are uh, not going to have. Uh, Muslim Pakistani grandchildren. They tried to force her into an arranged marriage, but she runs like the wind. Uh, and yeah, so I mean, that's something to think about parents out there. Like do things that will give your kids advantage, geographical advantages. You can't, I mean, for example, Canada is a very secular country. You can raise Catholic kids here, but it's harder. L let me tell you a story. There was a person I knew from Poland, Catholic, obviously, practiced her faith in Poland, came to Canada, stopped practicing her faith, and then uh, she went to, um, moved to Ireland, although secular country, not as secular as Canada, and now she practices her faith again. So, like, I don't know, just be careful. Like me, like I, I grew up here, I can't help it, right? But it, it's not ideal to raise a Catholic, or even any kind of a religious kid here. It's going to be, it's going to be a lot of, it's either going to be hard, uh, you're going to either succeed, which is unlikely, you'll fail, or you'll have some kind of middle ground where you'll still identify as Catholic, Muslim, whatever. But you'll like, you know, like, believe in gay marriage, believe in feminism, and basically be like a, someone who calls himself a vegetarian who eats pork or who eats beef or chicken or whatever. So I just wanted to add that. So yeah, um, I hope everyone enjoyed Quarantine Apologetics today. 
I may, <laughs> I love doing film reviews, and I may do them in the future, but we'll see what happens. We will see. So, uh, anyways, I will see you later, and God bless.